What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Harold Homestead. Um, I'm changing my blades on my mower today, as you can see. <sighs> Sorry, I had an ant crawling on me. Um, anyway, um, if you've got a zero turn mower, uh, you may want to, you may want to check this out. Uh, not every, uh, not every mower's got the problem that I've encountered, but, uh, maybe if yours does, you can see this and, uh, take care of it before it causes you some, some real problems down the road. So follow along and I'll show you, show you what I got going here. All right. What I got going on here is, uh, my mower, uh, it's a grapely has got these little dust shields that are mounted on top of the blades. Uh, I don't know if other brands have them, uh, but this is why I'm showing you this. You may want to check and, and see if yours do, see if yours has them, because this mower's got uh, 39 hours on it, and you see what that, that wet looking stuff right there, that's grease. Uh, these dust shields are supposed to, I, I'm guessing they're supposed to keep dust or debris out of the seals but from what i've noticed they they trap it in you can see in the bottom there maybe i don't know how well you can see it but yeah and uh i change the blades on this mower ev i think every other time i mow and i always dump these out so it's not from neglect by any means it's just uh, uh i guess you'd call it bad engineering i, I don't know um, my hustler, which is let's see, right over there, parked up in the woods. It didn't have these dust shields from the factory, and uh, even with sealed, <clears throat> even with sealed spindles, I got four hundred something hours out of it before uh, I had to change the spindles on it. Now these are sealed too, uh, but. I, I don't feel like I should have to, I don't feel like I should have a seal going out at 39 hours. And I, <clears throat> I'll stick this under here real quick and I'll show you. You can see where, this is the bottom of the spindle here. And I don't know how well you can see, but you can see where it even rubbed the bottom of the spindle. But when I pulled this cup off, that little crack in there that's uh that's where the seal the seals up in there and i pulled all kind of stuff out of there and it was covered in grease but uh since these are uh the, the spindles on these mowers aren't rebuildable and it's it's not why i mean it it, it may last a, a little while but um now i'm just going to run it until it starts whining uh, like they will when that's that's when you know they're going bad uh so that's uh that's what I wanted you to see. If your mower has these <clears throat> now some uh some some old John Deere's I've run had these cups but they didn't have holes in the bottom. They were they held uh they held grease for your spindles. Now that's a different that's different, you know. You may you may want to keep them. But if it's just for the purpose of a dust shield, I'd probably do away with them. Uh well, I know I would. That's what I, I'm. That's what I'm doing. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of them. Um. <clears throat> and yeah, I've got my mower lift hoisted with the tractor. I know. <laughs> I know trusting hydraulics can be frowned upon. Uh, I'm aware of the risk, and I accept them. So do so at your own risk. Uh, with that being said. Um. I guess while I'm doing this, something else I'll point out. And I'm, I mean, I know I know all the all the professionals out there. They they do this anyway, or most of you do. But um, if you're not a professional, just got your own yard. Uh, what I do when I bought my mower, I went ahead and bought an extra set of blades, and that way I don't have to sharpen them when I pull them off. I gotta when I well I, I do sharpen them when I pull them off, but I don't have to do it right then. I've got an extra set of blades that I keep sharp, 
so that way when one of my sets gets dull, all I have to do is change it. I got a, I got a sharp set of blades ready to go. So that's another thing that just might save you a little time and headache down the road. But I've got to get started mowing before the wife gets on me <laughs> and before the rain gets here. So if y'all found this helpful in any way, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if anything else like this comes up, I'll be sure to let you know. Y'all have a good day.